Hey guys, uh, Jay, uh, I'm going to show you my team I was using for uh, the Mutthead online qualifier thing. Um, and in this game, I'm playing Wiseda. He's like a really popular YouTuber. If you watch Madden on YouTube, you probably know who he is. Um, surprisingly, it was a closer game than I thought, but it wasn't a very good game to actually watch. So I just have like little highlights of the game. He actually played me a lot better than I was expecting, but whatever. But I want to talk about online mutt head qualifier and i ended up finishing 22 and 1 i uh took sixth place my one loss was against a guy around like he took like 13th or 14th and it, i had played him five six times already so it's like you know i was switching offensive playbooks to like different looks every time but i mean you play my defense so many times you're gonna figure out <laughs> what beats it and he uh, finally figured it out to give me that final loss all right so and I have a gameplay against uh, the number four ranked guy who finished fourth, Bradford Era, and I actually beat him in that game. It was a pretty good game. But, um, I want to talk. Shout out to Mutthead and everything for throwing this on. I screwed myself not playing the first couple days because I gave away. I sold my entire team to get Ultimate Legend Sean Taylor. So I didn't. I didn't have much to deal with. So I played like two games like the first five days and I just went I spent those first few days of the tournament building my team so I could compete and uh so we're gonna talk about it. I I had 23 games and that obviously wasn't enough to qualify and I spent honestly I, I spent like six hours a night on that website last week to find games and I would get one or two games it would always be the same people that would want to play me and the thing about that the way the XP works is obviously if you're ranked higher than you're gonna get less XP but you also earn less XP if you've already played them before so you know once you beat someone you're, you're, you're averagely you can earn like six seven XP if you play someone ranked lower than you by a little bit and if it's your third or fourth time playing them you're only gonna earn two or three XP that actually it's actually a good thing how it worked this is where it started to hurt me. I couldn't find nobody in the top 50 who was playing. Nobody except one guy. And that's the, the guy who ended up being my only loss. It was actually like six times playing. He finally beat me like last night. And so that Bradford era guy ended up finishing fourth. Last night around midnight, I'm in fifth place. He's in sixth place. We're both at where I finished around 1400 XP. It was about 43 and 12. Now I'm, I struggled to get matches. Two to three hours a night, four hours a night, five hours a night. I would stay, I would be on that website sending challenges to anyone in basically that's had a w over 1,200 XP. That's respect. And the only person I get to play me was there's one guy that would ever play. Every once in a while, I'll get someone else to play. I can't find my. So within the last less than 24 hours of the tournament, Bradford Era got over 10 games to play qualify my this is my story I'm not saying anything anyways as you can see I just did some highlights this game sucked um but you know I thought it'd be cool to show him myself playing Wiza he played me better than I thought so shout out to him I'm just showing uh have a good one everyone Jay here like subscribe Voya con Diaz Braz and uh it's, maybe I'll give away my team I don't know I don't know what if I'm gonna keep playing please